Hard to capture, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my sight like a lot. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Noel to explain here, bringing you guys a very interesting development in the saga of Boruto Naruto Next Generation. So by this point in time, most of you guys have probably already seen that Masashi Kishimoto is trending on Twitter. He's trending on a lot of social media platforms. There have been various articles made, tons and tons of videos made, and yes, the information is correct. Masashi Kishimoto is returning to Boruto to take over the right duties for the Boruto story going forward. However, I want to clear up a few things that are floating out there and part of the reason for this is there's been a bit of misinformation that's been getting spread out here in the community. While it's accidental misinformation is still misinformation nonetheless and it seems like once a year it seems like i'm not even capping at this point it seems like once a year i end up doing a video talking about something that's been sent out there that people have taken and they've run with it like for instance last year i had so many people tell me make a video about the fact that the boil to manga is going bi-weekly and i had to blow that whole thing up and say hey this is why the manga is not weekly these things typically do not change midstream I highly doubt they're going to change the contracts. I know Viz Media put the series on there on a bi-weekly release. I think that's a coding issue. I don't think that's the case. Lo and behold, Boruto continued to be a monthly manga. Now, this is one of those times where, yes, there is a bit of a change midstream, and this is going to be a big one. So prior to this change that happened with Masashi Kishimoto, the way that the pecking order went for Boruto was that Masashi Kishimoto served as the editor. Ukiyo Kodachi was the writer for the Boruto manga. And then you have Ikimoto who does the illustrations. So that was the pecking order before. Now the way that this has happened is essentially Kodachi has been removed as the lead writer for the Boruto manga and Masashi Kishimoto is taking over the duties of handling the storyboarding issues and giving all the information to uh, Ikimoto who for those who did not know Ikimoto was one of Kishimoto's very first assistants. So I'm going to go ahead now I'm going to put up a couple of tweets and I wanted to wait until I was able to verify through three different sources, three different reliable sources about what's going on because there's a lot of context that was missing when all this stuff first got broken, which is why you guys are getting this video so many hours after 9,000 different people have made videos on YouTube about it. Again, I would rather not be first. I would rather be accurate. I put more emphasis on being accurate than being first. That's part of why I don't do breaking news segments. So Organic Dinosaur sent out a tweet at 11.46 last night and she said that uh, concerning the Boruto manga, this is a translation of the news announcement that was broken on the official Naruto and Boruto Twitter uh, handle. So the translation is with the publication of Boruto chapter 52 in the December issue of V-Jump, which will be coming out this week, by the way, the organizational structure for the production will be changing in accordance to our plans which have been arranged since the beginning we are truly thankful for Kodachi Sensei's work who has served as a scriptwriter up until now from now on please look forward to a continued serialization that would be based upon Masashi Kishimoto Sensei's original draft so this is where now if you go back and you look at everything that everybody ran with in the beginning everybody said oh Kishimoto is going to be taking over for chapter 53 that's not the case. Kishimoto is taking over for chapter 52. I mean, this is the exact same thing that we had to go through a few months back where I had all these people hit me up saying that the car actuation arc was going to be 16 episodes long. And I kept saying, I don't think that that's what that's saying. I'm going to wait to get more information. It really feels like this is going to be a longer arc. And lo and behold, the car actuation arc is looking like it's going to be over 20 episodes now. So uh, that's what I mean. I would rather wait and give you guys the information opposed to just being the first one to break it to you. When they say that, oh, this has been planned for a while now, a lot of people have called into question quite a few things. People have said, well, if that's the case, if this was 
if this was something that was planned out then why did you have the situation with kishimoto working on samurai 8 so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my papa crypto hat for a second so with samurai 8 okay samurai 8 masashi kishimoto was working on samurai 8 as naruto was winding down back in 2014 kishimoto had made enough headway with the concept and the story for samurai 8 and the designs for characters in samurai 8 that during that joint interview that kishimoto did with oda even oda said that he's seen kishimoto's next work and he's very excited to see how that's actually going to transpire in weekly shonen jump the fact is is that the story for samurai 8 was already done that was already done once serialization started but with this latest turn of events like this is the big thing here so we're seeing kishimoto take on even more responsibility for the Naruto franchise by taking over the direct storyboarding for the Boruto manga. That does not mean he's drawing the manga, he's just doing the storyboards of the manga. The artwork is still gonna be done by Ikimoto. No pressure, right? <laughs> now, there's a little bit more to the situation here. And that's a big part of the reason why I decided to wait before I even spoke on this, because I remember getting a tweet, I remember getting a tweet that Organic, Organic Dinosaur sent out months ago saying that Ukyo Kodachi got into some hot water over there in Japan, and I I didn't think anything of it however that was something that always stood out in the back of my mind apparently there was a pretty big controversy that happened with ukyo kodachi in terms of respect from what i was able to gather that's one of the things that kind of stood there is ukyo kodachi got pretty disrespectful with somebody and that was going to be a huge blowback going forward and now you have this announcement here so according to kodachi himself this was already pre-planned and for anybody that doubts that because i i low-key i buy into this simply for the fact that Kishimoto, there's always been some level of involvement in the Boruto series. You can go back to the very first arc. A lot of those episodes were restructured and Kodachi has tweets out there talking about how Kishimoto was stepping in and breaking up the anime episodes. However, here's the thing that uh, Ukyo Kodachi was saying. So right in here, Kodachi says that we decided to return Boruto's baton to Kishimoto and Ikimoto Sensei's team, continue to support the journey of Boruto and his friends. I will look forward to it as a reader. If you think about it, the experience was a lot of fun. After helping with the script for Boruto's movie, it was decided that I would continue to help until the 13th Boruto manga volume. I am also grateful that the anime has been well received throughout the world. I'm truly thankful to Kishimoto Sensei, Ikimoto Sensei, and everyone involved. Boruto was one of the works I could call the youth of my 30s. And from now on, the baton road of Boruto, Kawaki, Stardust, Miri, Miski, Inosuke Cho, and many, many others others will continue is something to rejoice about again so what we're seeing here is that all this was pre-planned up to the 13th volume and then Masashi Kishimoto would take things back over and I think that now is a good time to kind of just look at where the manga actually is and look at the fact that one of the things that we're getting here is that they planned everything for the 13th volume and this happens to be the volume where you're seeing this happens to be a, a volume where you're seeing naruto get a new transformation it stated that he might actually be killed off uh, by using this new transformation and if you go back to it, a lot of people saying oh my god this means that Naruto's not going to die I'm going to say I don't necessarily know if I believe that simply for the fact that Kishimoto's even said like yeah Naruto's story's done if they want to kill Naruto or somebody from Naruto's generation I have no problem with that being done in the writing area and now that we're getting to this aspect here where he's taking over I think that it's also part of a respect thing and I was actually talking to Nadine who is a very talented artist I was actually talking to her in the DMs on Twitter and she made a really good point given exactly where the Boruto story is right now it would make more sense and it would soften the blow quite a bit and it's more of a respect thing if you do decide to go forward and kill off some of these legacy characters that it needs to be Kishimoto the person that birthed these characters that is the one overseeing the story for this now I personally would love to see Kishimoto take over the Boruto manga on a monthly basis and Kishimoto do the art because I am not a big fan of Ikimoto's artwork. Anybody who's seen one of my manga reviews knows how much I critique Ikimoto's artwork which just as a side note once again 
some of the stuff that I've been critiquing Ikimoto on for his artwork is stuff that Ikimoto has said in interviews himself that Masashi Kishimoto was getting onto him for. So the fact that Kishimoto is doing the storyboards for the manga, I'm definitely expecting the artwork to get better because Ikimoto, it isn't just him getting a script from Kodachi anymore. He's getting the script directly from Masashi Kishimoto. So it's time for the artwork to take that next jump. We're going into five years a serialization for the Boruto manga that is a very long time and I've said this before if Boruto was not a legacy continuation of Naruto it would have been canceled from Weekly Shonen Jump however Kishimoto taking back over the story that is something that I'm actually somewhat excited about. Again, I grew up with Kishimoto's uh, Naruto manga, so I'm not bashing Kishimoto's writing styles at all. That's not something that I'm doing. And he is a better writer than Kodachi, but I do think that there are some aspects of writing that Kodachi does a better job at. I'm not gonna suck Kishimoto off. Like again, Kishimoto wrote wrote a good bit of my young adulthood and my early adulthood so i'm not gonna bash kishimoto in that aspect but i i really just wanted to kind of touch on these things because you know there's there's a few different things that kind of popping off right here so you know because people in the west are getting so excited kishimoto's coming back whereas people in japan people in japan are kind of looking at this and there's it's almost a mixed reaction from what i've been able to gather you've got people that are completely dookieing on kodachi and you've got people who that before they were not going to support the boruto manga uh release they would read it via the free websites and everything and the websites have ads on them but they weren't looking at it from the traditional uh tongue bond stuff where you're getting the actual manga volumes and the things that directly go towards revenue in terms of the actual manga i think that's why you're seeing a big part of the reason why the manga sales looks like it's stabilized and just when you think that it's stabilized it's hit another bottom and the biggest selling manga volumes that we've gotten have been the stuff that kishimoto was involved in naruto gaiden continues to be the biggest post Naruto uh, manga volume that's out and then you have volume one where everybody bought it because they didn't know what happened to Naruto so I think that I think that there are other aspects that are at play here I think that there is some truth to the fact that they made the change midstream because the manga is not doing as well as you would expect a Naruto property to do whereas the anime is doing well and the anime is making a lot of money the manga not so much that's why it was moved to v jump however on the other side i do believe that what they said that this was pre-planned and that kishimoto was going to take over around 13 volumes if you go back to what ikimoto said he said he would like to have the story wrapped up in 30 volumes so if you go into 30 volumes 13 is almost a halfway point a lot of people have said that they think that we're headed towards a time skip it feels like it and so to put kishimoto in midstream here when naruto is potentially about to sacrifice so much and this is such a critical thing like i talked about in the video i've actually got coming up and like i hinted at in the uh chapter review i said that if you're going to kill naruto off it has to be something similar to Minato to where it's emotionally charged and it's a battle that everybody is going to remember. So I'm very, I'm very intrigued by what's going to happen going forward. But again, I just wanted to wait to make this video until I had more concrete stuff. You know, throughout the video, you should have seen various tweets on the screen. So I just want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, have an awesome day, guys.